What's up, YouTube? I kind of made a little discovery here with these uh, microwave fans and fan motors in, in general. I also have one like this. Not sure where this came out of. Forget, you know. But uh, with these fans here, I kind of made a little discovery. And that's that this one is so thick, it wouldn't run on a Gerard Morin pump. While this one did run, and this one ran even better. So I figure by reducing the amount of plates that's on here, I could get this one to run. And of course, I took it all apart. I'm going to have to put it back together. So this one's... This one's probably uh, trash, but I'm going to reduce the plates on this one and to about this size here. I had the little motor thing. I don't know where it went, so that's what I'm kind of looking for. But anyway, that doesn't really... Here it is. So this here is thick as pretty much this. You can kind of see it fits the coils. So I don't know by reducing the plates if this is still going to run. It might pull to one side or the other. So I'd have to cut, or maybe cut part of this out to get it to work. So I'm going to be messing with that, guys, see what I could do. But anyway, by reducing the number of plates, you could get this motor to run on a Gerard Martin system. And I'm going to try it before cutting this. I'm going to try it first by reducing the plates and see when this, this will run. Then I'm going to cut this around the axle here and see if that makes a difference. But, uh... This one has a lot less plates than that one, as you can see. And this one runs on a drawer more pump, where this one doesn't. And this one has even less plates. And it pretty much cranks on uh, the pump. So, a little discovery here, guys. Now, also, I want to show you... You can see that this has more aluminum... On the outside than it does on the inside with the steel plates on the inside and this one's got a little bit less aluminum sticking out where this one has very little sticking out okay so I might have to cut it I'm not sure I'm gonna mess around I'll get back to you guys and let you know but if you come across one that has very few plates about 20 plates on there what I mean by plates are these individual pieces of steel that is stacked on here. And by reducing those, I'm hoping that the pump will run. So it's a little discovery I wanted to share with you on this uh, fans. I'm going to have to take this out. Just one end goes in here. And Trying to get soldered together on this end. So there's two different pieces of metal, I guess. And they get soldered, soldered together on one side. Kind of see that there. So I'm going to be messing with that, guys. But if you come across these fans, if they're thin, they should run on a Gerard Martin pump. Alright, so I just want to let you know. The thinner, the faster it spins. And eventually we might be able to use these to, to spin magnets and with coils and make a lot of DC power, which will be more, more of coming out than what's going in to <laughs> this over unity and being able to run uh, probably another pump. 
So I just wanted to share this this little discovery I made here with the motors. Some are thick, some are thin. The thin ones work, the thick ones don't. Okay. So I wanted to share that with everybody. Now I'll go ahead and get on with the rest of the video. So I had to do this in parts. I made it too long. I had to redo it. So uh, thanks for watching. On with the next clip. Looks like it was cranking pretty good, guys. Thanks for watching.